Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on Forgotten Weapons. I'm Ian, I'm here today at the James D. Julia Auction House, taking a look at some of the cool pistols that they have coming up for sale in their March 2015 auction. Now, there are a bunch of pistols in this collection from Dr. Jeffrey Sturgis, who is a renowned collector of, of very early and very interesting automatic pistols. One that jumped out at me was not this one. This is a, actually this isn't a typical, this is an interesting in its own right Walther PP, or police pistol. It's interesting in that it has a heel magazine release instead of a button. However, the reason that I brought this up today was simply to show it in contrast to this one. Now this is an extremely rare Walther Militar Pistol, or MP. These were designed as a result of some controversy in 1926 and 27, where the, the German army was considering replacing the PO8 Luger with a straight blowback 9x19 caliber cheaper pistol to make. The Luger worked well for them, a lot of people liked it, but they were pretty expensive to manufacture. And for a couple of years, it looked like the German army was probably going to replace them. Now it turns out, they didn't. At least they didn't until much later in the 1930s when they adopted the, the Walther P38. But in the late 20s, a lot of companies got into looking at alternative, less expensive 9mm pistols. And this is an excellent example of it. So this was manufactured by Walther. So this is the earliest of the MP prototypes known to still exist. This was manufactured in 1928, and it was actually made for the country of Chile, not necessarily Germany. Walther was certainly preparing these pistols for commercial sale as well as military sale. Um, in the 1920s, of course, the military was very limited in what it was able to procure anyway, and so a, a new military pistol would certainly have been also sold on the commercial market. Now, part of the reason we know this was made for Chile is that it is actually in 9mm Steyr caliber, or 9x23, um, significantly longer than the standard German caliber, uh, a little bit more powerful potentially, but right in the same ballpark. Now the MP is a straight blowback pistol, there's no locking mechanism, this really is just a scaled up uh, PP. So why don't we go ahead and bring the camera back here and take a little bit closer look at the insides and how it works. So, in a size comparison, you can see that the MP is larger in pretty much all dimensions. It's not that much larger, but longer grip, longer barrel, it's wider. That, that view kind of gives you a better, better idea of the physical size of the MP. And I have to say, the PP is a small pistol, it's a pocket pistol. The MP at least fits my hand extremely well. The grip shape is really excellent. The double action trigger pull is pretty hefty, but the single action is really quite good. It's a really nice pistol. I like it a lot. Anyway, we have a magazine release button up here. Drops out our magazine. So you've got seven witness holes for a magazine capacity of eight. It's a nice long magazine for nine millimeter Steyr, aka nine millimeter Largo. Our safety mechanism is very much like a standard PP. Forward allows it to fire. It is a double action and single action pistol, so had Germany adopted this, they would have beaten the P38 by about 10 years and being the first military standard DASA pistol. Uh, pull that back, you have a, a safe. You can, of course, also cock the hammer. It has a decocker built into it. As kind of typical of Walther pistols, the markings on the side here uh, mention Walther and, and the, the fact that it's patented and a Walther banner, but they don't mention the caliber or the model number. Um, it does also have a cutout on the back of the grip for a shoulder stock. That, that was common in early pistols. By the 1920s, that was starting to fade. It's interesting to see it still extant on a, a pistol of the late 1920s like this. Now, to disassemble this, we do the exact same thing as we would for a model PP. We pull the trigger guard down and lock it off to the side, resting on the frame. We can then pull the slide back. The slide comes all the way back, lifts off of its rails, and comes out the front. Gives us our slide, our recoil spring, and our frame. As I mentioned earlier, this is a straight blowback pistol. There's nothing, nothing different about it. It's not locked. It's relying on the mass of the slide and the weight of the recoil spring to keep it functioning safely. Inside, this looks very much like a, an upsized Walther PP slide, because of course that's what it is. 
It's interesting to note that we do have a loaded chamber indicator. You can see that top pin right under the, the rear sight is connected to this pin right here. So that pin extends out through the breech face. When there's a cartridge on the breech face, I depress that, it's spring-loaded, and you can see it sticks out the back of the slide. It actually gives you both a visual and a tactile indicator that you have a loaded chamber. Again, pretty neat for a pistol manufactured in all the way back in 1928. You can see this is our manual hold open. When the magazine is empty, the follower lifts that up. That locks the slide open. In order to drop the slide, there is no manual release for this. What you have to do is drop the magazine. As soon as you drop the magazine, the slide will go forward. Reassembly is very straightforward. Take our recoil spring, slide it back on the barrel. And then we want to nest the end of the recoil spring down into the front of the slide like so. Pull the slide all the way back. And we drop it onto its rails. There we go. Slides in place. Drop the trigger guard. You might recognize this from the Russian Makarov pistol, which copied the exact same mechanism. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have to say, this 9x23 Walther MP is just a really fantastic gun. It fits the hand extremely well. It's very comfortable. I'd love to be able to shoot one of these someday. It's, in a lot of ways, it's really a pity that Walther didn't end up putting these into production. They're a, a very cool little pistol. So, At any rate, if you would like to add this particular one, and it's one of only a very small handful still existing, if you'd like to add it to your own collection, you certainly have the opportunity to do so. If you click the link right below, that'll take you to the Julia catalog, where you can take a look at their high-res pictures, their description, um, all the information that you need. This one is lot number 2235 to take a look at, and uh, I hope you've been on it, and I wish you good luck. Thanks for watching.